I'd like us to have a short guided contemplation. I ask you to please switch off all your mobile phones, close your eyes and sit upright. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your nostrils. Become conscious of the air that you are breathing, the air that is entering your nostrils. Every breath you take comes from God, who gives you the gift of life. Life comes from God, and it is God's providence that He decides how long we are to live in this world. Relish the gift of life through every breath you take. And thank the Lord for the gift of life. Whatever grief and pain and sorrow in your heart, thank the Lord for the gift of life. To live in the present, here and now, His will. Sense God, who is the giver of life, is in your heart. He's present within you, loving you. Embracing you in your sorrow and pain. For those of you who know of someone or yourself having gone through a miscarriage or an abortion, it is important to bring this pain to a closure. Give a name to your child if you have not given him or her a name. Give your name, whether it's male or female, a Christian name. Everyone who has gone through and is, con and is experiencing great sorrow and grief in your heart, remember your loved one who has gone before you. Feel his love and his presence in your heart at this present moment. He or she is God's special gift to you. But yet, God in His providence has decided to take him and her to heaven in His glory and happiness and peace. Imagine your departed loved one now in heaven with God, filled with light and peace in the presence of God, loved by God, embraced in God's light and love and happiness in heaven. See him and or her with the Lord with Mary and with Jesus, bathed in the light of the Holy Spirit, 
together with all the saints and angels in heaven. A beautiful sight of lasting happiness and love. Visualize your loved ones looking down on you with love, having forgiven you if you may have felt you have caused any pain to him or her. He and she in heaven now forgives you and loves you and will pray for you at all times. Feel his closeness or her closeness to your heart. As he loves you, feel his love or her love in your heart, here and now, calling you by name, mommy or daddy, and loving you. Feel the love of your child who is now at peace in God's light and love. As you are touched by the Lord, speak to your child from your heart that you love him and her Speak to him and her that you love him and her. And that you are at peace as she and him is in love in God's presence. As your child is at peace, the Lord comes forward towards you and embraces you and assures you of his love and peace. Our Mother Mary comes forward too and asks you not to dwell on your pain as she understands your pain and live the life that God wills of you each day in God's peace and love. Feel the presence of Jesus' love and his mother embracing you and loving you and assuring you and comforting you. You thank the Lord Jesus now and Mother Mary for her love, for their love, and you see your child being accompanied by them into the light of the Father's glory and the Spirit. Become conscious now that you are present in this church as a community of believers in the resurrection, that your child who is now in heaven is at peace and with God's glory and happiness. Your child wants you to also be at peace and live the fullness of the gospel each day of your life knowing that you are forgiven for whatever wrong you may have committed. That in being forgiven, you find peace in your heart. Knowing that your child will continue to pray for you and bless you from heaven. Feel the love of your child in your heart 
and the blessings of God within you. That Jesus and Mary will continue to care for you and your loved ones. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.